My mind is blown. That's freaking awesome. Not fucking dumb, but you know what they say. Behind every hater is a piece of truth, and I have to agree. What is you thinking? Now I don't mean to seem like a hater. That's just the way I am. Take one look at your face, and you's going home. But bump the bump. Oh! Give it to SK, baby! Hater, hater, hater. Wow, wow, Wes. Woo, my hey, God, dude. We're live. What's up? We're Welcome fucking to the live, podcast. dude. What's up? Kev, you got talking in the mic. Are you high? No, I'm not high. Hold <laughs> God on. damn it, Kevin. Here you go. I'm stepping on. I'm stepping on. Kevin, like you got a new XLR, Sean? What's up? <laughs> Let me know. I'll, uh... Uh, yeah, I was, just, <laughs> I was just talking about we. I, they sent us some supplements. Yep. Yeah. I wasn't. I was afraid to take them without consulting Matthew. Magnesium. I mean, we'll, we'll get. We're gonna have an ad for it, but magnesium is the stuff. Yeah. I talked about. It I've heard you talk about. That magnesium. was the stuff that let me start drinking coffee again, and I quickly depleted myself to so started abusing coffee. So, but dude, magnesium's the shit. You don't abuse it. Uh, I was. It's just the way you think about it. No, dude, I'm telling you, my body can only take so much. All right. Pause. But I, my body, I, <laughs> I won't be able to sleep. Like if I, yeah. So, yeah, I'm a big magnesium guy. Right before I go to bed, pass out. You have cool dreams. Pretty tight. All right. You take anything else? Mm -mm. Uh -huh. You taking mushrooms, right? Yeah, I take mushrooms. My bad. I take mushrooms as well. I was uh I was listening to the Huberman podcast. <laughs> I swear to God. Who's Huberman? Huberman. Yeah. What you got? What are you saying? He was talking about uh, some shit called L tyrosine. I don't know what that is. It was a, uh, it's like a dopamine thing. I don't know. It helps you like focus and stay more alert. I took it one time. Seems like you're on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you seem alert. That's how I would describe you, Kev. I took it one time. It was like it was pretty good. Really? Yeah. I took it and went on stage. I was like, oh okay. Still slow, but you know. Yeah, but you gotta. You the slow is nice on stage. It is. It works. I just I would just heard word that I I talk too fast at the beginning of my sets and it dude I fly fucks me up. That's because I'm not that. trying to not let these fuckers get a word in. Yeah, the beginning true. of a set they're dude, food <laughs> lines fucking gay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, <laughs> dude. Trump, <laughs> dude. Trump. Right. You should when have I walk. A, like a you should have like a chamber they walk through where they just get it all out. You walk yeah. in. This is fucking chance, man. Like, all right, you're good. Somebody yells, "I love you" at every show, which is it's been making me laugh. <laughs> I've been I've been thinking about the guy sitting next to his girlfriend the whole show, just like <laughs> 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 finally musters up the courage, just while I'm talking. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> they should have the thing like the scanner they go through at the airport where there's like scream it. Your dad's good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> feels mood. You and Ethan. Where's Matt? <laughs> you and Ethan do this thing that I think is like. It's kind of cool because y'all hold the mic like this. Yeah. Yeah. Ethan does it? Ethan does it too. I'm I, like, I, I always I, hold I, it I like tried, this. I, I tried it a couple of times. I'm like, hey, it feels like I'm getting my words out quicker. Yeah. I broke the habit. I'm back to PC principle, dude. Just 90 the PC degrees. principle. <laughs> that, was PC your, principle. that was your original form. I know. And I fucking went to these wicked ways. Now I'm back to PC principle. <laughs> PC was your original. That was your most powerful. PC principle. I'm almost back elbow to it, dude. out, dude. Elbow almost. out. Just fucking. Na we do have the nastiest yes. elbows in the game, dude. Look at these elbows. Trippy elbows, Look dude. Look at these elbows. These are like, it's like a fucking rhinoceros, dude. Triceratops Imagine, one. Dude. <laughs> What'd you say? <clears throat> you know, our elbows were What'd sharp. What'd you say about the homosexual community, what dude? What the hell? I support them. Not during this month. Not today. What do you think about all those fucking queers? <laughs> <laughs> but careful, dude. Come on. JK, man. JK, JK. <laughs> LGBT JK. <laughs> Uh, no, no, they, they got me fired up, dude. What happened? Twitter's I'm, I'm on a I'm Twitter's getting to me. What were they doing? I haven't been on Twitter in they a while. They fucking did a pride thing at the White House. And there's so. by the way, no, not so. They're out there twerking on the White House lawn, taking their tits out on the White House lawn. Oh, they're doing like a protest. No, it was with the president. He was up there like, You guys are the best. Joe the Biden. most bravest people I've ever met. What he what? was out there? Yeah. What's the problem with that though? 
He was on the hair sniffers float. He was. <laughs> he was. <laughs> He's on the smelling little kids' hair float. It's not. Look, <laughs> he really was, dude. <laughs> Just walks off the side of the floor. <laughs> oh. Damn, I didn't know they were doing that. Uh, they got me. At the White House? At the fucking dude, White House. Dude, it should be dude. red or fucking blue tie quietly on the lawn. True. Don't be naked. What political also, party's that? Also, it was a <laughs> M to F transgender person flashing the titties that, hey. Not bad. What's an end? Oh, this lady. What's not a female. Came oh. out right away. Pretty hot. Oh, and then she or he got a picture with Joe Biden. Bud Light's kicking oh, himself. Biden. Biden, Biden uh, Joe, did, she, Joe she, didn't know, dude. Joe she tried didn't to know. take a picture. She tried to. <laughs> it was a video, and Biden's like. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, oh no, it's a video. Like, ah. I don't see anything Bud wrong. Bud Light would have came up if they picked her, dude. You don't see anything wrong with it. With with the, the with them going out there doing that, I guess I gotta I gotta show you. As more. long as they, you know, as long as they fear with it, they let Puerto Ricans go do their thing on their day. On the White House yeah. titties, Puerto Rican titties at the White House, right? It was Puerto Rican Day Parade yesterday, wasn't it? Was it titties at the White House? Yeah, did they I don't. Make it I don't. Question? I don't. I don't really know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I went There's there. No way they got that. <laughs> I don't if, know. There's yeah. No way Puerto Rico's been given full reign of titties. White House lawn parade. Titties. That would be more acceptable. Yeah. There's a little BBQ out there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I anyway, mean, it's not like it's really getting to me, but for sure, I, it's I, enough I where I like it's working. The algorithm's yeah. working. I'm like sitting here. I'll look at it and be like, <laughs> you, you. I don't like it. You don't like it because Proud Boys. Everybody. Like it. Because of what? Get the Proud Boys naked on the White House, dude. Yeah. Show penis. Just fucking five inch birds, dude. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Proud Boys have huge dicks. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Anyway, I can't find it. It's all right. So you're, you're a pro. You're a pro. Just. No, I'm not pro. Um, I'm saying naked gay guys in the White House. Naked gay guys. I, I personally don't give a fuck. I just want to know why. You why it give a me? fuck? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to examine. That's also what I'm trying to figure out why. Because is it because everybody else that shows up to the White House has to be some sort of formal or? Um, I mean, or from wherever them dudes was from. Just the, it's almost like, I don't know. It's tough to explain, dude. It's hard to really explain. But someone, someone like Biden's giving a speech in front of like a rainbow stage, and he's like. You guys are the most brave people I've ever met in my life. And it's like, come, come on, dude. You've handed out medals of honor. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you're the most brave. And the person filming is just like, ah, you're welcome. <laughs> like, just like, there's no there, there's no ounce of like, oh, they're helping us. Yeah. The White, they're up on the lawn like, yeah, in your fucking face, White House. And the yeah. White House is like, yeah. yeah. Of yeah. course, show your tits. They're beautiful. It feels it feels like an agenda, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's fake. It's absolutely. It's I mean, it's literally a political agenda. I mean, it's <coughs> the definition of an agenda. I mean, how you know them gay people didn't go like kill somebody in Iraq or something, and then they get they this they Medal of Honor showing their titties <laughs> in front of the fucking <laughs> it's their version of the shit. There is that option. <laughs> there is that possibility. Those yeah. could have been war heroes. This could have been Troll. war heroes. That's what I'm saying. You don't know that. Lemaire doesn't like it, dude. He's <laughs> they can't be war heroes. We got a rule against that. No, we don't. Not anymore, dude. Oh, yeah, damn. Biden. Biden. I think Biden repealed it himself. Biden was against Trump. Gay said it, and what? then he just tweeted. He was like, "Trans aren't allowed in the military." Oh, he just that was but his that rule? doesn't mean anything. He was the boss. He didn't actually. There's no law. The t president's tweet means nothing. Oh, so he did. I call. He just said, "I pro I call it. <laughs> no I trans. call no trans dibs." And then so they that got didn't in do and anything. Said, we are soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is fake. It's a whole fake, fucking stupid thing that he comes out. No, and I, I'm just thinking. I'm like, that's kind of hard to prove. Do they check your genitals if you? They do. Oh, all right. Day no one more. at West Point, down to, <laughs> down to your underwear in front of everybody. They give. You, they issued you skivvies. Dude. They issued you whitey yeah, tighties. They would know too, because they they would have like your file from. Yeah, yeah. they'd know. Oh. They get your birth certificate, all that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You switch but it up on them. That day one underwear at West Point is. 
It's a sad day, dude. Kind of skibs everyone rocking. White, whitey tight. They they give you issued whitey tighties. You're just oh. like, oh. Marching in the summer in fucking oh, dude. cotton pants with whitey tighties. It's going to be chafe city. Dude. Oh, I didn't know they control your undies, too. Yeah. What the fuck? You can't yeah. bring your old fucking, your own boxers? No. Hopefully Patton gets in there, dude. He made his own, his own underwear. Ooh, the sheath man? Yeah. Hopefully General Patton? Yeah, General Patton. <laughs> General Patton gets in there. That's uh, fucked up. I didn't know they controlled your underwear. They control your pants. It's kind of hot, though. That the fucking government's controlling your underwear. I can get into that. <laughs> I don't mind that. Everybody on the football team before you get there is like sneak compression shorts in. Oh, I got it. I snuck a couple in, but after two days, I you know three yeah. days, I was I was out. It's time to resort to the uh, whiteies. That's, that's for real. When I quit, that was my that was my ring the bell moment. <laughs> Put some whitey tighties on. I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> that's it. Like, Son, are you sure? Like these aren't these whitey tighties aren't going to make it, <laughs> sir. You don't understand. <laughs> Take them off at the end of the day. They're just <laughs> destroyed, dude. <laughs> From marching and standing and <laughs> farting. <laughs> it's going to look like the Moroccan flag, sir. <laughs> they are destroyed. <laughs> Yo, dude, I, yeah. Did you ever try to wear white underwear recently? No. Dude, I, I tried it in college. I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. My roommate was like, bro, have you worn them for a while? I was like, yeah, it's no big it's deal. Insane. Dude, I, at the end of the day, I checked them. I'd inspect them. I'd lay them on the bed and go, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's crazy. Did not pass inspection. The Japanese flag is what I would have. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just, a just a bloody <laughs> ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was watching, uh, speaking of the Japanese, I was watching Letters from Iwo Jima. You ever see that? Mm. It's uh, It was, so Clint Eastwood did Flags of Our Fathers. And then he did letters from Iwo Jima, and it was uh, about the Japanese at Iwo Jima, and it, they, they were fucking retarded. Why? They just they they f- killed themselves constantly. Really? They're like, if we're gonna lose, we gotta kill it's ourselves. Part of their culture, though. It was I know like it's a, a dumb part the of the kamikaze culture. plane. Kamikaze is sick. This is just literally us sitting here and be like. All right, they're probably gonna win. We should just do the honorable thing right now and kill ourselves. <sighs> and each dude just takes a grenade out and is like. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, shit. It's like, don't do that. Go take the grenade and throw it at the guys. That's coming crazy. At you. Yeah. That's get- scene, they didn't. They were like, don't be a coward. You got to fucking kill yourself right now. Damn. It's kind of the opposite of how we talked that's, about that's suicide. That's also a good war tactic, too, though. Just be like, yo, Japan, I don't know if you know this. We're winning. And like, fuck. Yeah. You can't fire us. We quit. <laughs> <laughs> they did rage quit. Japan rage quit constantly. <laughs> they were down 30 in Madden and was just like, fuck this shit. Dude. I'm turning off the game. <laughs> not, I heard they're not showing the, uh, the Little Mermaid out there. That's what Will told me. So I can't believe it. Will so <laughs> Yeah. So I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's true or not, but he was like. Yeah, they're not showing the Little Mermaid out there because uh, she's in Japan. Black. Oh, China. Yeah, I think it's China. One of them. China's exceptionally racist. Yeah, but then now, uh, but then now uh, the the Black Spider Man doing good. So, you know what I mean? It's like an M Night Shyamalan twist, though. He takes his mask off at the end, and they're all like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's been like, the monster oh, the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> You ever see those black uh, NBA players that go over to China and then they yeah. get off the bus and it's just scream the N word? Oh, really? I didn't oh, see yeah. that. No, dude, they're like it's vicious. Stephon dude. Marbury loved it over there, though. You see the documentary? No. They, he I heard was it's awesome. Yeah, he was over there like crying because they, they he was like they treat me like a god over here. He's a point. He was a point guard, right? Yeah, yeah, for the Knicks. Got to be tall man, dude. True. He's finally, the tall man. True. <laughs> He's probably yeah. loving it. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't say they're all racist. Yeah, it's just there's a fucking just, billion of them. Yeah, just the ones that you just gotta have a. Cult. I just saw a couple of videos. The algorithm's getting me. Now yeah, the algorithm. I've, I've seen those vids. No, death videos. Those, videos. those guys going hard. I'm getting death videos well, constantly. Dude, remember that was one of the uh, initial side effects of COVID. Like early on, they were saying it was turning Chinese people black. <laughs> I swear to God, there was an initial thing of COVID. <laughs> They're saying like dudes, they first things were like people in China, those guys who are like getting COVID, yeah. their skin darkens like four tones. They I know, just, I know they, how this happened. They just pulled out a grenade and killed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> was like, Fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> that was one lady. She was a groupie for the Shanghai Sharks. She fucked Stefan Marbury. They had a black baby. She was like COVID. It was COVID. <laughs> It was COVID. 
COVID. Yeah, dude. Really? Yeah. Just, Beast. Yeah. It was on New York Post. Is that a good one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the oldest newspaper. No. Is that the oldest newspaper <laughs> it's, in the it's not very reliable. <laughs> it's the oldest newspaper in the country. Now they're actually Wu Tang. <laughs> they have become <laughs> Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kev, what's going? We gotta turn this off. We keep looking up, at these man? majestic. True, yeah, I like it. It's like it is nice, calm, but it's man. hard not to. What's up, dude? I'm, ha- I'm happy I'm, you're here. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Though. Your energy is fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. For real, no bullshit. Oh, I appreciate Show it. Show mode. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, Kev is one of my favorite people to see at the cellar. I like to see you there. Thank you, man. It's, so it's hard to tell if you're like serious. Tonight. Why do you think <laughs> I'm serious? Why do you think I'm an asshole? I've never, I was just with him and Reggie, and I was telling I just, him, I was like, "You guys are so fucking just, good at this." I just never know when this guy is like serious or <laughs> full of shit. So Master I just always, the craft, dude. I always just look at him, and I'm just like, "All right, no, man." If you see me, if it's after a set uh-huh. and you see I'm drinking, I'm serious. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Before you're, a set, I'll just, you're always drinking after a set. True. So <laughs> I'm usually nice after that. Yeah. Yeah, but if it's if it's beef, he'll let you know though. Uh, True. Dude, it's I guess, yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. When it's not serious and it's serious, you're like, you do your Nate Diaz shit and you're like, I'll fucking beat the <laughs> shit out of you right now. And That's I'd be fun. Like, That's me joking. It is fun. I know. And then I just like, I know you're not actually gonna fight yeah. me, but at the same time. <laughs> I want to try to get you in a headlock. Well, that's good. All right, that's because you say nasty shit. Yo, he got me on a... He killed me. I came over to the bar. I got done. He was like, good set. I was like, I'm him, dude. And he was like, you're fucking they, dude. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm they. Oh, no. oh, my God. He's like, you're yeah. them because you're fat. <laughs> I was like, dude. Oh, I thought he was calling you they. No, I know. They was neutral. the initial one. And then I think them, them, you're them because you're fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> That's the one too. I've thought about it every day since. That's so I fucking funny, I said dude. This shit. Um, also, coming off stage. Yeah, you know? I'm him. I'm him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Just because he, he was trying to be nice. He was like, good set. He was trying to be nice. I, had to, I couldn't say thank you. I had to ruin it. No, I mean, it's. Dude, whoa. Guard so... dog, take it easy on that banana. No, dude. Dude. Look how much he took. That was his first bite, dude. <laughs> Get you down to the White House, dude. <laughs> Go ahead, dog, report for duty, sir. That was my second bite. Second bite. And it's fuel. It's podcast fuel. True, yeah, true. true. It's not gay. It's tough. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I'm him. Now you're they. Oh, yeah. and, then I said, and then I got you. I said, don't just, I was like, do one set and don't mention being black. And then I went down and watched you. I could tell. I could. It was I like was, I was, it got I could to me. Tell, it got I could to tell, me. Like, in between. It got to me. I yeah. was like, "Fuck!" He's like, it's, "You know, how you're a second ahead while you're talking." Like I could see him before he said it. <laughs> I was like, it was I was, so, I was, it was like, killing. Man. And because he went up before me, and now you got the Shane crowds at the cellar now, which True. which I absolutely love. Yeah, they're the best. Yeah, no, I don't like your your the crowds. Fans. Great. I I like that I like that they love you because it's like okay now it's a challenge okay you know what I mean like after coming like once you go up and they're like oh Shane oh accents and I'm like oh my god it's my regular voice yeah and I gotta yeah, kind yeah. of figure this shit out and but but you came up to me. And he was like, yeah, fucking do a set. Don't talk about being black and don't say my name. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> shit. You might be him. And I'm like, going on there, I'm like, I'm fuck. Dead, that's dude. what him would say. No, that's what him would say. In my head, I was like, I should have just got up there and started talking shit about yeah. Shane. That's yeah. all I should have did. They would have, <laughs> my fans would have loved that. Was, yeah, they would have been like, do. yeah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they it is funny to see that influx at the cellar. It's yeah. a shane learner. All of a sudden dude. there's That's like a it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a shane room, bro. It's a shame. If I'm on it's the list, there's like room. you can just see it. You can see the room. There's Damn. like tables of bros getting hammered that are like you can hurry up yeah. <laughs> whoever else is on <laughs> get the fuck off the stage. <laughs> it's brutal. I can almost see him in the wild now. I can, I can, I can yeah. you can see them, dude. You can identify them. You can I absolutely can, see I them. I can see who's going to be like. It's dude. Yeah. yeah. 
There's a distinctive look. Yeah. It's they, the most powerful man walking around. It's go, oh, usually the most Do powerful they start, man. Is it, is it gotten to the point where they, well, I don't know, because you don't really dress a certain way, but sometimes like fans start <laughs> dressing like their favorite. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was like, the shirt. I think the guys who like us already dress like this. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a decentralized brotherhood. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, these bird dogs are riding up. People yeah. at home are getting a show. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that's it's been very enjoyable to see that. Yeah, I can't believe I'm podcasting right now. My doctor told me he's like, bro, under no circumstances. Why? From the toxic cloud. The doctor was like, bro, you can't podcast. I said, watch me. He though. said, I have to, dude. The people need it. Me. He's like, you can't take two weeks off. He's like, the doctor. <laughs> the toxic cloud. Yeah, the fucking smoke from Canada. Oh. That wow. fucking crap from Canada. I hated that. I hated that cloud. That that it made me scared. The toxic cloud. I was event? scared of it. Yeah, dude. It was fucking hurt my lungs. I was, no, Smokers I was. Smokers loved all it. All day. I was truly scared of it. It's why I was checking the air quality all the time. I was like, we'll be back in about a couple days. Yeah. Crushed me. Came back. It was all thick with smog. I was like, fuck, man. Yeah, I couldn't really tell the difference. Yeah? yeah? I mean, I was outside a little bit. I smelt it, but it wasn't like... It just smelt like... You know what it reminded me of, actually? And I don't even want to say this. Because... <laughs> fuck. Go on. But, no, when I, like, first landed in Nigeria the very first time... <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Why? Why would I? That's funny. Fuck you. you <laughs> because no, I don't like shitting on my country. But no, like, when, when, I Lagos. First, when I first landed there, the sky was, like, orange, just like that. But they burned their trash. Dude, Damn. I was talking to a guy from mm. Afghanistan uh, yesterday. My Uber driver, which, dude, that's the, nothing better than a 30-minute drive with a guy from Afghanistan. But he was saying he went to Pakistan. He was laying out all the places for me. He goes, Pakistan, no good. He's like, too many flies, and it smells. Nice. He said they burn the trash. He said yeah. they take the fucking trash out weekly, yeah. and everyone just burns their trash. They do that a lot of places. I'm surprised you talk to your Uber driver. I talk to dudes nonstop. Yeah. I love especially if I have an Afghani, like a guy from Afghanistan. So I, I like slowly sussed out where he was from. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what do you think about American women? I love talking to them about uh, that. <laughs> Bro, it's the best. They <laughs> do not want to make a family, I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do not want to make a happy family. Yeah. I said, man, is every one of those guys is a conservative. I'm like, dude. why it's do nice. you, I know? I'm like, why do you think that is though? And dude, they just go off. It's so yeah. fun. It's uh, a good time having those guys just fully go off. My wife is housewife. My wife, <laughs> my attitude. The, the, the divorce rate in Afghanistan, guess what it is? Wait, Less fucking, than 1%. Yeah, because... You need a reason, dude. You can't just all willy-nilly. Yeah, but that's... I don't. I mean, I don't know what the Afghanistan law is, but I assume that they would, like, kill some bad dude. Yeah. If you tried to leave, yeah. it's like, all right, yeah. well... Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is true. This Everyone's gonna beat the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah, true. You can take me. You, you can also take multiple wives. He was, he was breaking down the multiple wives thing. How it works? You got to get separate quarters. You got to get them in their own spot. He's like, you, he's like, you are allowed to do it, but he's like, it's more of a process. You ever see a, a video of Fela Kuti? Who's that? Like, um, he's this Nigerian artist. Oh yeah, popular. yeah, yeah. yeah For but sure. he's, he, he's had like multiple heard wives. <laughs> I have heard of that guy. Really? Yeah. Have you heard of him? No. Oh, it's really dope. Um, kind of pioneered the whole Afro beast thing that's going on now. But he had like he has a video where he's just like sitting around, he's smoking, talking about like music and shit, and there's like seven or eight girls just around him. I'm just Damn. like, yo, this is a life. So he does a whole podcast? <laughs> huh? He has a podcast with him and like is it his wife? Nah, like, this is he's I think that this is from like the sixties or some shit like oh, that. Seventies. It's an old video. Didn't they yeah. crack down on that guy? Didn't he get like in trouble or something? No. Let me think of someone else. <laughs> he got a shrine in uh, Nigeria. Let me see if I'm thinking of the same guy. I, I read, I read Nigeria about rules, dude. It does, man. I like JJ Akocha. I don't know about know. him. I don't God, know who that damn, is. He's one of the greatest athletes of all time. You should really? know him, dude. Is it which, what sport? He was a soccer player. Oh, I don't watch soccer. That's what it is. Well, we got, uh, you know, Style Bender. You guys, yeah, they're killing the UFC. Yeah, man. Those Nigerians are coming over and rocking. Although they were already... Like, what's his name? Uh, Kamaru Usman. Where was he born? He's from Nigeria. Oh, he's actually from Nigeria? No. There was like, isn't, there's, no. There's that white, Af- yeah, the South African dude, yeah. he's fighting in July. He's been talking shit. 
There's a white South African that's like, I'm fucking African. Oh, really? All these guys aren't oh. from here, dude. And everyone's kind of oh, like, yeah. Eh. That's fun. Te- technically. Yeah. That's, that's always Big fun. Kamara's from Missouri. I know he went to Kamara Missouri. was from Missouri. A little port side college, fight yeah. going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Yeah, I'm going to see him fight. I'm going to the fight July 8th. I'm going to see Volk. Volk would be nice. Volk and... Uh, ru- uh, ru- uh, no, it's... Uh, yeah. Have you been and to a Bo Nigerian Nickel. wedding? Several. They're pretty sick. The only they one are. I've seen is that clip online of them listening to System of a Down. <laughs> you ever see that? Shit oh, rules, shit. dude. I think I have seen that. It's so nice. I've been to several. It's fun because I've also had, I've also been to um, some because I got cousins as like married white girls and sick. it's it's fun just watching that juxtaposition of like a yeah. wife and, like they'll dress up in the in the, the gowns yeah and the drip too and then they'll just be watching like oh my god these people well, does are- the guy still have to lay down and like prostrate himself before the white father-in-law because <laughs> you know they do that you know it's uh, part of the thing oh, you no, lay down I in front think- of the lady's uh father and you just beg him like please dude i love your fucking please. daughter's pussy <laughs> This is fucking white dude. I want to fuck your daughter so fucking bad, dude. Please. Yeah, I think they skipped that part. Yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure at the request of the father-in-law. He's like, ah, you know what? We're gonna go a little more uh, American traditional. <laughs> My sister got married to an Egyptian and had to wear a cape and a crown. Oh, really? <laughs> we all sat there laughing at her. We're like, <laughs> they didn't make you all dress up though. No, uh, I I literally. <laughs> you should have wore a bird head. <laughs> I <laughs> I laugh. Start to finish that entire ceremony because they would do shit, and then the women would be like, blah, blah, blah. they yeah. would do that the whole yeah. time. And I was just like, yeah, damn, it's yeah. called culture, Shane. I know this is my culture. We laugh at shit. <laughs> <laughs> we think things are funny, which is a nice culture. <laughs> yeah, we just kind of sit there for like this is nice twenty minutes. We're sitting yeah. and talk to each other, ignore what's going on. Then we're like, All right, let's go get drunk. Yeah, we gotta hurry up and get fucked. Let's up. go. Let's yeah, go, man. They drink too, though. Oh yeah, they fucking. I I, I can't even drink the shit that like my parents. Yeah, what do drink. they drink? Um, so at, at the last wedding I was at, it was just a bottle of Remy like on every table, and I'm like, yo, this shit is strong. I feel I like, I feel like rum it. would be big there. Rum? Yeah. And I feel like it's part of that triangle there. Yeah. But traditionally, they got a lot of rum. Mm. True. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. No, that was a gift. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a big part of well, yeah bringing up pretty nasty stuff. But yeah, big part of <laughs> yeah. big part of what, what slave what trade it? rum was integral. North Atlantic oh, slave okay. trade, yeah, because oh, yeah. yeah. there was the sugar plantations, and they would take the rum yeah. from the sugar cane, and then they it was like gifts they would give it to the African dudes. It'd be like, yo, here's some rum. And they're like, all right, we got you, bro. Trade. <laughs> who are the who are these guys on the wall? That's, <laughs> well, it's Custer. Great liberators. Peace. Great liberators. <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant. Uh, Sherman and John Brown, dude. You got come on, man. Man, John Brown's the man. John Brown's the uh, the white guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. All right, all right. These are all union guys. Don't worry. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. No, because I came in. I was expecting. That's Benjamin that's Buford, Robert that's Buford, Buford Forrest, the founder of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> that's Adolf Hitler. <laughs> I, I came in. I'm expecting pictures of you doing shit with Bert and all kind yeah, yeah, of like. Yeah. You know, that's that. Like, that's right there. Uh, there's, there's me and Kid Rock. <laughs> that shit in a corner. This thing you got. <laughs> yeah. Civil War generals. Yeah. I got a sick. I told you I have a sick picture for you. I'm waiting. All right. I'm waiting. I don't want to burn you with more stuff. I have a lot of stuff. But dude, it's a very. Na- I don't know. I'm, right, I'm cool. curious how you're gonna like it. It's very, right. it's very primal. It's a great work of Ooh. art. Yeah, it's a very primal work of art. Nice. Yeah, man. I'm excited. What are you Wait. doing, Lemaire? Moving with some. I got a your gift. I forgot it was in my bag. You have a gift for me? Well, we got it in uh, Cincy. You left it there. Oh, okay. You're returning a gift. What is it, Lemire? Oh, nice. A picture that guy drew. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I got to support that guy. The hat. What hat? That Cincy hat I was wearing. Hold on. You guys, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, support. I'm sorry. Support. Nah, you're good. So you're, on, you're saying you're on Maka route now? 
yeah, I'm putting it in the smoothies. I'm trying to do, I'm trying to just, I'm trying to do the cold shower thing as much as I can too, but it gets, it's, it's easier to do after a workout. Like it's really easy For sure. after a workout, but uh, it's hard to be consistent with I mean, that's, that shit. You're playing yeah. with the ingredients of a serious boner recipe, cold showers, maca root. Is that what that is? That puts lead in the Cold pencil. Cold showers gives oh, you boners? Really? Oh, yeah. That'll put lead in the pencil. Oh, maca you root, get out and start maca to root yeah. for sure, dude. Oh, okay. I yeah, maca even... roots, yeah, it increases your Have you been noticing a more prominent erection? I haven't. I mean, yes, but I haven't had sex since I started doing it. It's been like a week. Oh, okay. So, dude, it's, I don't know. We'll see. Maca root adds up. Okay, we'll maca see. Maca root's pretty intense. I think Yohimbe is another one. Yohimbe. Every culture has their own natural aphrodisiacs. I've noticed. If you travel anywhere, yeah. they're all like... If you go like anywhere in Mexico, like drink this fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Tea, Jamaica was hitting me with that yeah. Red Bull and red wine. He was doing that at the bar. Yeah, they're like, all fuck all night with that. Get- it is. It's pretty tight to go to another country and a dude finds you. He's like, "You want to get fucking hard as hell?" And you're like, <laughs> <"That's> <laughs> no, they, dude, that's I mean. they have no problem talking about it. No, they talk about it just every single time. They're like, this is gonna get yeah. your dick so hard. You're like, all right, man. I mean, she won't if you don't be have- able to breathe, <laughs> like, yeah. what? If you don't have NFL soccer season's over, the guys just stop and like, "Yo, how hard's your dick?" And you're like, "It's pretty fucking hard, dude." I found some other stuff. Yeah, it's not sports. It's just dudes talking boners. Imagine going to like if you're a foreigner going to a dive bar here, someone being like, "You want your dick hard, partner?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reggie put me on the um the honey. I didn't know what that shit was at all. What honey? What's the honey? It's like, it's it's like a, horny honey. Yeah. Oh, you're talking yeah, about like gas yeah. station boner pills, kind of? Yeah, it's like a packet you suck. Yeah, but I never got it from the gas station. I I think he went and got it from like an actual sex store, and then. <laughs> TSA Betty's a freak, dude. bro, yeah. dude. Yeah, I mean, I told I, you I my YouTube once, hole I went into. Good. There's a YouTube hole of black dudes are like re- reviewing gas station boner pills. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's so fucking funny. I can't do Fuck. it, man. I mean, that's what that stuff isn't that. I mean, a sex shop is and gas stations are pretty. Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah. Cl- they're pretty. Yeah, but a gas station. I don't know. To gas me, station boner pill seems like feels. Yeah, it feels like true. Heart my attack. body going, yeah, my body gonna fall out. Like I don't yeah. know. I don't know. They're highly reviewed. I've seen guys reviewing them up, just being like, "Bro, I fucking, it's always it's <laughs> like, it's, it's, fucking dunked on her, dude." It's so, it's so fun. <laughs> the analogies are awesome. Yeah, nah. Just talking about just dogging a chick. Yeah, it's like take this. You're gonna punish the woman you're with. Yeah, <laughs> you want it to hurt her? Go to the gas station. <laughs> Some of the ads are literally stick figures where she it's like be crying, yeah, bro. she's gonna hate this. Dude, there was one I think where a lady's like crotch is on fire as the advertisement. It's like take one of these and it shows like before just like the lady like laying there and after her like vagina's on fire and she's like rolling around screaming in pain, the guy's just going fucking right, dude. Have you ever taken one? No, no, no. Okay. How I'm about never- you? A gas station. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I took a blue chew before, not that stuff. No, did it work? Yeah, blue chews work. Um, I know, I never do no, I had a doc- I, the doctor told me I couldn't take them. Really? He said my dick's too small. I'll get a prolapsed anus if I take it. <laughs> <laughs> my, ass, my ass will just pop out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot of doctor's <laughs> advice. <laughs> I, I never go to the doctor. Yeah. I just make it up. <laughs> There's a guy reading the chart telling you that. <laughs> yeah, your asshole will pop You're out. You're going to want to sit down for this. <laughs> this type of news is never easy. You're not allowed to have gas station boner pills. <laughs> you ever have your ass pop out from a too hard of a boner? <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> Something that afflicts the white community. That's why we're so honorary. Yeah. That's why we don't dance at weddings. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could happen at any moment. Dude. Yeah. If you grind at all, your butt could fall out. Your asshole flies out. <laughs> and it's quick, too. You'd think it would take, like, slow. It's just, it just punches out of your back of your slacks. All right. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's great. I was thinking about what it. I, oh, okay. My bad. The died suddenly version of that fucking... <laughs> Documentary of white guys' assholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a good doc. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice one. That'd be a nice one. Guys' asses popping out. <laughs> like a, okay. my father passed away. <laughs> <laughs> His fucking ass popped out. <laughs> <laughs> my 
My dad's ass. <laughs> Guys. He he's... was shuffling a sweet Caroline and his asshole <laughs> flew. <laughs> <up. No! laughs> you know you make me wanna. <laughs> that gets the dad's going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now wait a minute. <laughs> that, gets the, that gets the dad. That gets me going every time. Yeah, that works. I hear that at a wedding. I'm like, I'm. Yeah, let, let me have the on, time of my life. Let me get up there and show him what I hit him with the bacon. <laughs> I'm a sizzle on the floor. That's a white man classic. You didn't know about that move. <laughs> the, bacon. the bacon, dude. You know about the bacon? <laughs> Do it again. You just lay on the ground and go. Wait. <laughs> classic white man dance, dude. I don't know, shuffle like the we got yeah we got shuffle yeah. yeah lay down do the bacon I've never seen a white guy lay on the floor and start dancing <laughs> I'll show you <laughs> like I've actually <laughs> never yeah, seen yeah. that in my life next time you and me go to a cool party I've seen like an awkward <laughs> I've seen I'll do the bacon next cool party we go to <laughs> I've seen an awkward two step that's like the go to yeah that's the worm the we got our hands on the worm and went nuts with yeah that. we got the worm ruin the worm I remember the worm but. <laughs> That was, I remember black people doing that first. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, know. I remember black I people know. doing that shit like on, um, like stomp the yard type shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. like, uh, the worm. And then it got corny really fast. Well, remember what white people did to the doggy? Yeah. The doggy's kind of tough to do. I don't think we ever got our hands on the doggy. No, they, the doggy's tough. That well, was white. a white person. Pride, really? point of pride. If you could do the Dougie, I yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's hard. That's a tough one. To, to be fair about the worm, the first person I remember seeing doing it was Scotty Too Hotty in the 2000s. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, white. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you're Scotty right. Too Hotty. <laughs> you're right. I remember that. I think yeah. the worm came from Russia. I think that was a Russian invention. Yeah, absolutely. You're looking up, look up the originator of the worm. I'm sure it was like a break dancer. Yeah, that's what I was. Thinking. It was uh, Eddie Gordo from Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> who's scotty too hotty you don't remember sky too hotty and rikishi and uh yeah, who's the from, other guy uh, it sounds familiar grandmaster, grandmaster sex a yeah. no, I, I, I know the name scotty too hotty i can't put a face to the guy yeah it says it was popularized by scotty too hotty whoa well, that don't mean popularized, popularized. Yes. popularized don't mean it, the worm was performed at shows in the 1970s and was widely popularized during the 1980s funk period and continues to be associated with break dancing you know what's funny? I was looking up suicide statistics and suicide dipped big time in the 80s and the early 90s. Now it's back on the rise. The worm might have taken the suicide rates down, dude. <laughs> There's no way you can kill yourself after watching someone do the worm. <laughs> no way. Like, oh my God, I thought he was going to fucking fall. He gently lowered himself to the ground. And killing, up killing someone at a breakdance and count. Killing yourself at a breakdance is <laughs> nice, dude. Fuck, dude. Come out like it. <laughs> 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 You're just spinning on your butt. No! Hey, whoa, where did that come from? Is this part of the act? <laughs> where did the final beat when he's supposed to. <laughs> God, that'd be terrible. If oh, I do ever. Shit. Yeah, that could be one way. Sign just... up for a fucking rap battle would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say about me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that'd be crazy. Yeah, like the first beginning, like, um, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, fuck it, I can't think of anything. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> he cheated. <laughs> yeah, that makes me, there's nothing that makes me no, more nervous. Rap battle? Trying to think about rap battle, it makes me, it's like, that's, that's the most intense. So terrifying. That's the most intense environment possible for performance. I would love it is I would love to go to one, but then at the same time I don't because of the way that the yeah. fucking room is. First of all, it's about maybe you get probably like twenty five minutes of rap and then an hour and a half of niggas yelling at each other <laughs> over some other shit. <laughs> like arguments. Yeah. I watch them a lot. I like them though. Yeah, I watch them. Yeah, yeah. I watched them just when Roan was doing them. I yeah. used to watch them and they they promote the whole fucking time. Yeah. There's 15 different promoters. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, what are you going to get to the back? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you ever see that one of those two white chicks? No. Oh, oh, it's one of my that. favorite videos ever. They're it's just about, the really? two worst 
It's like the worst rap battle of all time. Oh, that's got to be good to watch. Yeah. It just sucks. Uh, we'll watch it. Yeah. I nice. want to show you. It Dude, makes me happy. It's some brutal shit on there. This is guy, Tay Rock, and he's like rapping because sometimes they'll do men versus women <laughs> and he just says the worst bitch. shit oh my but he just doesn't <laughs> stop bro he's like you big neck bitch you <laughs> you refrigerator built bitch you and he does it for like and I, it doesn't I, even I, rhyme it doesn't even rhyme, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't even rhyme. you like, disgusting you, like, you're <laughs> fucking gross to look I'm at like, bro this is just um, that's like it's brutal you're actually really dumb <laughs> <laughs> you bad bitch Built bitch, you <laughs> big on the top, low on the bottom. Built bitch, I'm like nigga, what? What is the point yeah. of this, bro? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? That's his art. That's his art. He's yeah. in a pure flow state. <laughs> you kind of cute, ugly bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like you. Come here, <laughs> kiss me. Fuck that. <laughs> Never mind. This shit is so mean. I'm like, bro. All right, dog. I didn't know they did women versus men. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Yeah, God and damn it's, it. it's it's it's. I mean, <clears throat> I've seen one where the girl was like actually really good because she wasn't going at it from the sex angle. Yeah, she was just going at it from like you a fucking loser, or whatever. And the dude was <laughs> on some shit like you get a period and blah 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 blah. blah. And it was just like ah, nigga, you get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Saw one of a white dude. There's a clip going around. He gets he gets punched immediately, but he's like. You say I won't use the oh, N word. Oh yeah, I seen that one. <laughs> I seen that one. <laughs> Battle was over. So good, dude. I think he won. Did he win? That's a win, dude. Yeah. You get the other guy to punch you. Yeah. Kill, yeah. <laughs> But this setup, everyone's like, no way. He goes, you say I won't use the M word. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Nigga. It popped right in the face. It was it. That's, that's suicide by freestyle, that though, dude. That's suicide, that's suicide by freestyle. By freestyle. Dude, that's, that's a smart thing to do if you don't have any other, like, words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're like, shit, I'm out. Shit, I'm out. I'm going to make shit. a punch <laughs> I'm going to get knocked out. <laughs> Fuck it. Pull the plug on this. <laughs> that's a wild oh, strategy. Shit. Damn. We just got yeah. some good videos. That's now. tough. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to. Yeah. Here, can we pause for a second? Yeah, we have to see I want to show you this. We have to see these vids. This lady. Oh, the two girls. The two girls. Hey, I forgot to mention this on the last episode when I was wearing this cool Cincinnati hat. My buddy Teddy, Teddy Karras, plays for the Bengals, but he gave me this hat. If you like the hat, go to thecincyhat.com. All proceeds go to the Village of Mercy Marici, offering an independent lifestyle to adults with Down syndrome and, aut and autism. Pretty sick, dude. You can get a cool Cincy hat. Lamar, you got a cool indie hat? Yeah. Pretty sick. Also, those are the bros, dude. That's the Cincinnati Bungles offensive line. Gave us cool hats. <laughs> Thank you, Bungles. That is nice. Right. Get your nicotine fixed without having to step away from the party with Lucy. Whether you're a gum man or enjoy a badass nicotine pouch, mm -hmm. Lucy has the best nicotine products in the game. There's no one way to get your fix. That's why Lucy lets you choose your strength and flavor. Want to shake up your nicotine routine? Lucy pouches come in apple ice, mango, mango. or even espresso. Mango. Mango. I get the mangies. Give me the yeah, mangies. Dude, that's the flav. Love pouches. I love, when the, I love when the flavor capsule bursts in my fucking mouth. And oh. I go, Whoa, that's a lot of mango. And nicotine, come on. <laughs> love pouches, but want your kick faster? Give Lucy Breaker pouches yep. a try. There you go. Those are the, the ones I like. These suckers contain a liquid capsule to moisten the pouch and get you your nicotine faster. Or your nicotine fix faster. Visit lucy.co and use promo code DRENCHED to get 20% off your first order. Shipping is always free. That's lucy.co. Promo code DRENCHED to receive 20% off and always free shipping. Here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age, and every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is, in fact, an addictive chemical. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Guys, the 4th of July is almost here. That means barbecues, pool parties, and glizzies. Today's sponsor, Manscaped, is making sure all of the glizzy gladiators are groomed for battle on America's birthday. 
Mm. Celebrate Sweet Lady Liberty with 20% off and free shipping with our code DRENCHED at manscaped.com. This Independence Day, fire up the lawnmower, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Break out the weed whacker to tackle those ear and nose hairs. With Manscaped's brand of new Beard Hedger Pro Kit, uh, brand new, whatever, you'll be showing up to the pool looking like the American Dream, Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, Manscaped has it all. Shave your pubes for the fucking 4th of July party. So when your uncle takes you in the back and he says, come here, I missed you. I want to see your hot dog. Yeah, you're wearing your Target bikini. Dude. When you take off, you, when you slide your, un, when you, you know how embarrassed you can be when your uncle takes you aside and says, I wanted a hot dog. He gave me a hamburger and he reaches and he grabs and he gets his hand stuck in your bushel. Yeah, a bunch of pubes. And you're like, Ew, what the hell is wrong with you, What the kid? fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> Take your Liberty Balls to the next it's level. Like look at my wife's bush. What the yeah, hell is I, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't touch kids because I want to have, you know. If I wanted to pubes, I would talk to your my wife. <laughs> Take your Liberty Balls to the next level by going to manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping with code DRENCH. This summer, let freedom ring with Manscaped. What the fuck? Oh, let's get serious here, dude. I'm serious. Deep sleep is responsible for most of your body's daily rejuvenation and repair. Mm. Not getting enough deep sleep can make you struggle with cravings, slow metabolism, premature aging, or worse. GABA, which encourages relaxation on a cellular level, is critical for sleep. The best way to increase GABA and get better sleep is with Magnesium Breakthrough. I'll be honest. I've been taking Magnesium Breakthrough before they were a sponsor. Dude, I like it. It does help you. For me, it vegan. helps me sleep. The thing I like about it is vegan, gluten-free, soy-free. Kosher probably, too. Maybe kosher, but... Yeah, they there's like all different types of magnesium, and they have like seven different sleep? kinds. Do they sleep? The what? <laughs> <laughs> I doubt they're gonna like that. Anyway, we're just joking. <laughs> but yeah, magnesium breakthrough is nice. Some people take magnesium once, and they take, I believe, magnesium citrate, which just helps you. It makes you shit. It's like a laxative. But the real stuff crosses the blood brain barrier. They have it in there. It's pretty sick. Mm. Magnesium breakthrough is the best supplement out there. It, pro it provides you with seven forms of magnesium designed to help you calm your mind and help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Folks with magnesium deficiency usually have higher anxiety and stress levels, which negatively impact sleep. Over 80% of the population is magnesium deficient, so that probably includes you. Shit. Visit magbreakthrough.com slash MSSecretPod and use code DRENCHED for 10% off your first purchase. There are always amazing gifts with purchase. That's also why I love shopping with buy optimizers. <laughs> Go now to magbreakthrough.com slash MSSecretPod and use code DRENCHED. To get 10% off your magnesium breakthrough and this month's gift. I can't wait to try it. I'm excited to try it and report back to you. You've it's been nice. a big magnesium guy. I like guy. it, dude. Take it before yeah. sleep. And you can really like it. You can take a lot of it, too. Like You can double it. I got it, and there was no... They, they just sent a package of it, and there were no notes in it. I was yeah, like, take I don't know it. what the fuck this is. I'm going to wait till Matthew gets here. Take it before you go to bed tonight and just see. Take two capsules, hit the sack. Okay. I like it. What I if like I have it. scary nightmares? No, no, we'll see. I better I had not. A dream, Dude, if I have a nightmare, I'm I coming to get I had a magnesium dream about uh, Chet Hanks had stolen the cast and was bringing it to Jamaica in Pat Jamaica in Patois, and I'm watching him. That motherfucker stole our pot. But then it was he was delivering it. It was so, it was so fucking good. funny, and he was accusing us of. <laughs> we left daggers in like the room of a Jamaican influencer. And he's like, you know, Jamaicans are scared of daggers, dude. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that was. I woke up and it was like Chet Hanks was translating the podcast into Patois, and I was like, big ups. It was so nice. Magnesium, big ups. It is nice. I like Wag mag. One. Get on the mag, bro. Hasta luego. Bye. Back on. That we was, got, was some good battles. What was that guy's name? Tay Rock. Tay Rock just made fun of a lady for being fat, screaming it in her face. Dude. It's like a drill sergeant. Yeah. Those white Canadians are. That was unlike okay, anything else. What was her name? I forget. Serenade. Serenade and uh, what was, what was the other? I don't know whatever the, other the girl's name. initials were. Yeah, it was like TSK or something. Yeah, she was a beast. She's kind of nice compared to Serenade. Serenade, if it, it felt like she was just like, like, like a teacher talking, like it didn't even sound like rap or anything. I think she thought rap was just saying something a black person would say. She's like, yeah. I'm not trying to be a hater. Hey, <laughs> hey duh. Yeah, she was. She was that far off. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that was like a hot, crazy lady confronting reality. That's all it was. That was tough. If you're a hot, hard crazy lady, people are like, yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah, you, you can wanna... definitely get in there. You're a battle rapper. Yeah, get in there. You seem like a battle rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you Man. Upside down snowman built body bitch. That the, the I I'm gonna stop. Psych. Psych. <laughs> Just went back in. <laughs> Roseanne body bitch. Dude. Oh Upside down banjo body bitch. <laughs> Oil filter body. Candle body. <laughs> Oil filter was the most. It yeah. was like really comedic. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Them dudes be funny, yeah. bro. Jesus yeah. Christ. Funny. <laughs> That crushed that lady, man. That was she was yeah. She yeah, was like smiling. Not, you don't come her. back from that. Yeah, that's yeah, not okay. You don't come back. That's from not that. okay, bro. Yeah, that's permanent damage. Yeah, a lot of times in battle rap, sometimes they'll say like, like because it's weird because some of them dudes is actually like we cool yeah. with each other like wrestling, but then they get in that ring and it starts getting real personal, and sometimes they'll say shit like uh, somebody says something about like your wife got shot for you and you still wouldn't marry her and the whole crowd was like whoa and it was like yeah this nigga took it too far like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that's what the people want to see and then one white kamikaze comes in yeah and goes watch this <laughs> you guys thought that was bad <laughs> ah! that's a nightmare up. your wife getting shot for you is a fucking nightmare I'll like never hear the end of that that's what I'm saying I'd be fucking I might take the gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got to finish her. We got to put her down, dude. Finish her. You got to put her down. <laughs> oh, Christ. I'm going to be taking the trash out for 60 years after this. I no got days shot off. for you. It's like, well, to be fair, it was not a good marksman. and yeah. <laughs> Could have hit either of us. Hit you. I don't know what you're doing there in the first place. Yeah. I told you to say anything. Yeah, no. You'll never hear the end of that. Oh, I got fucking shot for you. That's also a testament. A lot of women will say, like, I'd die for you. It's like, well. Would you? Yeah. Probably. Just, I think they would, honestly. I don't think women value their lives that much. I really don't think they value their own lives at all. Hmm. Why? Why you say that? I don't know. I just think they're just like, whatever. Like, I, I, do you ever play uh, Cards Against Humanity with women? They do a lot of suicide jokes and shit. I think we hang around different women. True. <laughs> Surprise, actually. Yeah, She's I think you're, you'd be shocked on this one. <laughs> I got a feeling you guys hang out with the exact same women. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember. I was shocked. I played Cards Against Humanity. I mean, I'm literally just making stuff up, but yeah, I remember playing Cards Against Humanity. It was nothing but like the most vicious suicide jokes, and I was like, Jesus Christ. It would just be a different girl like, ha ha. Man, I just heard somebody describe a comedian's comedy as just Cards Against Humanity for, oh, it's just fake shocking for morons. <laughs> I was like, damn, that's, that's, pretty, that's a hurtful, hurtful diss. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. I said, I'm not trying to be a hater. <laughs> <laughs> but behind every hater, there's an ounce of truth. truth. <laughs> a guy on Facebook said, I sucked at rapping, but I was kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bars, dude. I can't believe you remember that shit. Yeah, I actually delivered it better. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of nice. I really did. <laughs> when you can't even saying, try to be as bad as her. You might put Philly back on the map Philly's right back, now, dude. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Cassidy and me. <laughs> me, Freeway, Cassidy. Didn't Rome. Cassidy lose uh -oh. all this stuff because he like botched a murder against a guy and then I don't know. What Cassidy fell from grace. Didn't wasn't there a thing? He was like he the man to, and then he, he like in trouble he was in jail. Yeah. I I wanna say it was Larceny, but I don't think it was that. <laughs> Well, he came out of jail and bragged about killing the guy or something. And well, his family's like, you jerk. And he was like, yeah. I'm when he came it. out of jail, he was on some real gospel rap at first. Uh, that's always and then, nice. And then he And you realize that doesn't that. pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped doing that. And he started battle rapping. And his battle raps are not that great. Um, Ooh, that's got to that's gotta hurt. Yeah. There's this guy from Philly, though, named Easy the Block Captain. <laughs> Fire. He's nice. Fire. There was a dude from Philly who just, he was on the run for a while, got Lock killed. There's a dude uh, who was on the run for murder and he just got murdered. And now they're like, now he's like famous. They're like, oh, he was the best. 
rapper yeah he was like releasing music on the run I oh his fucking shit name. wait there was a guy it was a uh, you know who tk is this is old though mm-hmm. he was on the run he has a song it's called on the run or the race it's called mm-hmm. the race and he was like running across the country for a murder charge and they call him like i don't know somewhere on the east coast had to take him back to dallas he's like 15 years old though oh, like at oh i did hear about that i heard about that yeah I go to those late night YouTube holes of like murdered rappers and I watch all their videos. I'm like, they would have been great. They could have been so <laughs> good. It's a lot of them. Yeah. I didn't watch that King Vaughn documentary. I don't know. Oh, the murder. Yeah, the mass murderer, I, King yeah, Vaughn. Yeah. I started that and fell asleep. No, what's it's, that? Uh, it's, it's called, so the theory is, I don't know if it's true or not, but it's like rap's first serial killer. And they just kind of, it's like a three hour fucking uh, YouTube documentary. And they just talk about like he killed 10 people apparently. But the thing I don't like about it is like, it's this British guy that's reporting it. And it just oh, feels yeah. weird. Yeah. He's like, yeah. King Von tweeted. I don't got a British accent. Who? But, it's not a, <laughs> uh, what's his name? Is it? It's not Louis Thoreau, is it? No, no. It's just a, it's just like a guy on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this guy's a real sicko, man. He's killed. <laughs> he's must be the first he's mass murderer. The first serial killer of rap. <laughs> Chicago's drill rap scene is brutal. Yes, exactly. I did watch some <laughs> drill rap. It is. Yeah. <laughs> it is I watched. Uh, Hot in streets of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> the gangsters disciples among others true thugs <laughs> vicious gangsters <laughs> firearms <laughs> narcotics so fucking annoying all bro. in one set of projects <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> it's great. I, I, it's like, I, I just passed it. out. I was like, this will be cool. And I was like, <laughs> brass knuckles. Uh, the most brutal projects. Uh, clubs. I fucking hate it, man. How far did you get into the, into the dock? Man, I was probably like 20 minutes in. The yeah. thing that was like really throwing me was the tweets. Like, because I was like, I have this kid. Oh, and he was like, yeah, I need, yeah. A, I need blood. <laughs> he was tweeting like, I he need was blood. Tweeting crazy shit. <laughs> I, I, and uh, again, I don't know if any of it's true, but apparently after like, they said he killed somebody. He would tweet like, who died? And then like laughing emojis after that. I'm like, geez, these kids are. Yeah. Don't stop. Is this before or after Chief Keef? What, uh, what do you mean? Didn't you say it was Chicago? Is this like G Block? Yeah. Bang, bang. Uh, o Block? Yeah. Is that what it is? Like, o Block. O Block. Yeah, they're around the same time, Chief Keef. Yeah. Keefe. Uh, I don't know. I ain't from there. So I was watching the Thanks. Chief Keef ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know. There was just, uh, who was the dude who. Who's the white guy that did the all gas, no brakes? He did one. Oh, yeah. He yeah. did a no block one that was pretty good. Yeah. And then so did a guy before him that said he was cheat or stealing it from him. But it was very uncomfortable to watch a white dude go in there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what was it? Like Vice? Almost like yeah, Vice, basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it was the white dude that was challenging people to basketball. I think. Oh, that fucking guy? I could be wrong on that. No, that's a different one. Yeah, there's no uh, way. There's a white guy that would go down to that. That's a, that was he'd be like, I'm here in the hood. <laughs> he was no, just it, good at basketball. He was good. There's a white dude that was decent at basketball. Oh, would really? go down to the hood and be like, I'm about to school some of these guys <laughs> from the hood. He would like, like, fuck dudes off. Oh, really? like, there's like guys in jean dude. shorts. Yeah. <laughs> he would just <laughs> be like, I schooled the best ballers in the hood. It was just a guy that was, he just found the guy. I know. That's cool. Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, for real. Say, like, hey, what are you doing? That's me. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> just hanging out, <laughs> dude. I saw a Vice documentary about just an abandoned building, and like it was the stupidest. It, they were talking about uh, St. Louis, and they're like, it's the most abandoned city. This is so fucked up, and they were just in an abandoned building. Like, can you believe this? Yeah. So like, there's a fucking abandoned building. It was an abandoned yeah. school, and they were like, wow. I used to go to the school. <laughs> like fucking Vice cool. used to bother me. Yeah. They, I would they, watch it. They would just present uh, you the worst problems of all time. And, and that was it. Nothing. That was it. Yeah. And do nothing. And you'd go and sit there and be like, like, I didn't okay. know they were fucking drilling oil in the Congo or some shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like warlords are controlling like oil derricks. So yeah. Well, I think Vice just gives people, I think I've heard they did, they could give you like a little programming, like a a Bible basically for like, this is how you shoot a documentary. And they're just like, yeah, go for it. Could be wrong. I I could be totally wrong. I think they started to send you work for them. 
Yeah, I think they have like a pretty bare bones thing where, like, again, I, I heard this from someone who was like, yeah, eventually they just like, if you, or if you work for them, they just give you a little book like, this is how you shoot documentaries. Mm. Here's your gear. They Go started that fucking, we've talked about it before, the one in uh, Liberia is fucking great. The Cannibals, General Butt Naked. Oh, God, yeah. Back when Vice started, and it was Shane Smith. Yeah. And, they were fucking good. And say his name gavin <laughs> yeah, I, kidding, gavin I'm gavin kidding. no i mean gavin <laughs> say his name yeah. dude <laughs> gavin kind of rules but <laughs> shout out gavin no big deal i forgive you for founding the proud boys dude they, that was a joke didn't they start it the two of them <laughs> yeah I it think, was gavin mcginnis and shane Smith. i could be wrong i think gavin was one of the founders um but yeah the liberia ones yeah wild dude yeah it was fucking they nuts. used to do that and then it became just like vote for hillary it's like yeah. wait what I thought you guys were cool. They, they guys were. were showing me Liberia. They had the magazine too. The magazine was a big deal. It was like a cool. It got magazine. bought by somebody. It got bought by Rupert Murdoch, like fucking Disney. Did it really? Or AB? Who did Vice get bought by? I'm mean, not Disney, but no, that makes sense. Yeah, it was bought by Disney. Yeah, it's like yeah, that's about yeah, when I shit sense. to bed. They're probably like, yeah, you get, I try get to work out of the Congo here, boys. Let's. You'd fun. be a good Vice reporter. No, I wasn't trying to be a reporter. I You'd be funny. I was trying to just like hold the camera or something. But it was the Murdochs. Yeah. Soros? Yeah, they're like, that's enough James of you guys Murdoch. covering the West Congo. There yeah, you go. There's an abandoned be, building in why fucking don't we St. Focus Louis. focus on white nationalists? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we pretend that that's a bigger problem than it is? Dude, the guy was skateboarding inside the school. He's like, I brought my skateboard. I'm going to try to skate in here. And he just fucking fell. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I saw the best. I was, I was was watching a movie i saw i think my new favorite movie i i'm yet to watch it i only watched the trailer Ooh, it's called that's also um, sick to watch a movie like my new the trailer my new my favorite, favorite movie by far <laughs> it's called american insurrection and it's uh it's just liberal porn dude oh. it's about if the insurrection happened white nationalists take over america and it's like all it's just trump supporters that are now fascists that are like they have checkpoints and shit and it's a gay couple, an Arab woman, and a non-binary woman. What? She's wearing like a mad feminist t-shirt, and they go on like a killing rampage. Like execute the preview, they're like executing <laughs> Trump supporters. What? It's really? like nice, dude. That's what they, they remember they tried to do the um if the if the Confederacy won, they yeah, tried yeah. to make that a show. Think about it every day, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there was the Nazis, there was the one of the, the Nazis, Nazis the one. Yeah, the Nazis one, which they blew. That could have been awesome. <laughs> The man in the high castle. Yeah. yeah, that was it. Man in the high castle. That they could have been I, awesome. I didn't know they had the Confederacy. One. They didn't have. They had one about the Confederacy. Yeah, they, I think it was with HBO or something. And then they, 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 they got so much backlash before it even came out that they scrapped it. But yeah, be honest. No, 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 no. Go on. I, I'd have watched it. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what, what they thought would have. They happened. did one where it was like, what if America sided with the Nazis? And it was just Jewish people. Not. Uh, never mind. Go on. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stop. <laughs> Wait, that was a that was a that was yeah. A, there was a show. Fuck, I forget what it was called. Um, but yeah, what if America side it was with just the like Nazis? America is Nazis? They are. Yeah, that was like the point of the show. Uh, it was like, all right, enough of this. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. No, we're not. In fact, we killed them. Yeah, so we opposed them. We the opposing force against the Nazis. You said the right thing. Think about D-Day. <laughs> Think about D-Day. <laughs> Think about all those white Nazis that stormed the beach. Think about those white Nazi heroes. Yeah, they scored on their own goal. They're like, wait, what? Fuck. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Yeah, that was an own goal. I did, that's a, <laughs> that was an own goal. <laughs> that was a movie. D-Day was an own goal. <laughs> <laughs> that was their own, that was a movie. That's a real movie. Uh, there was an HBO series that was like that. Well, Handmaiden's Tale was kind of weird girl psychological porn where they're like, they're yeah. all in con they're being controlled and like, so like religious male authority figures were like, yeah. have kids now. I don't want to. No, I'm not done working. We, you know, you know, <laughs> I don't want this to affect my you know career. When I stopped, you know when I stopped watching? Did you watch Handmaid's Tale? <laughs> no, I never watched it. Uh, I watched it a little bit. Did you watch it? No, I'd watch my wife watching it. I'd, I'd like catch her watching it and be like, right. you love this Crap. shit. Crap, ain't no point in bringing it up. <laughs> what is it though? No, well, no, it was just, it was a point where you she, liked it. she, I didn't, I, I, I you uh, dirty lib, you loved it. <laughs> Look, I was watching it. I was, I was trying to get a joke out of it. I forgot what the fuck the joke was. It was something about calling them like out of their name because they called them off red and off 
whatever. It was mm-hmm. all, all something. And then the punchline was bitches. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I, I well, can't remember funny. exactly how it went. But That's that. hilarious. <laughs> You know, my favorite thing to do at the sellers is to get Keith Robinson fired up about politics. It's one of my favorite <laughs> things. Just that. sit down and be like, I love Trump. <laughs> Dude. But there was, I'm not going to say who it was. There was a comedian there. An African-American comedian was sitting with us. Uh-huh. And they were like, I voted for Trump. And he was just like, oh! <laughs> he, was just, he was furious. He was so, he was like, you're telling me like, doing that. It was so good. He just instantly, he forgave me. Uh-huh. He's like, that's you're you're a yeah. dumb white guy. Of course, this is how you feel. But when it was a black person, he was like, oh, that's great. That's the one thing I've, I think he takes seriously. Then, because we just saw him last night. His hour is great, bro. Oh, it's His unbelievably. It's, awesome. it's unbelievably good. It's really, so it's so good. He's more powerful than ever. Yeah, His yeah, second stroke yeah, made him yeah, more powerful. Yeah. He had another one. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. He goes on. He doesn't. Oh, he no does. one cares less. Oh my god! It's, 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 it's fucking. Sick. That's awesome. And, yeah. and he's so like brutally Keith that yeah. it's like the sympathy thing is out the window immediately. Uh, like, don't <laughs> it, 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 if he gets it on stage and you don't feel sorry for him at all. Uh, that's no, you know awesome. what I mean, it's just yeah, like, I mean, he's such a bad person. Yeah, <laughs> he's like <laughs> he's such a piece of yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I like. I don't want to say anything. I'm going to say. I'm going to say one joke. We can say I mean, one. It's uh, a quick one, but he's like, I f- I'm sorry, Keith, for burning it. But he's like, I, I forget I'm like this because he's, he's choked. He's like, I'm st- I'll am still see a handicapped motherfucker and see him on the street. And I'll be like, ah, and then he'll be like, look at you, motherfucker. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude. <laughs> unbelievable it's so good dude. It he's, the, he's the one yeah. person at the cellar where i'm like fuck yeah i gotta follow that yeah not uh, saying i'm uh, but that's the only one i'm you're ever him, you're fucking uh, no, i'm they but also, i'm them but he's the one guy i'll be sitting there next just like how the fuck are you gonna follow this uh, you, dude, you can't that's follow tough, that. man. you talk shit about him i followed him one time at the cellar and i was just like y'all know keith drive right <laughs> 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 just like y'all gotta get this motherfucker off the road. He drinks, he drives, <laughs> he's, he's a piece of shit. Like that's all I said, and I was like, all right, I got the set going. Keith now. Drives. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Keith it's driving like, is hilarious. It's fucking it's... weird to me. I'm like, they, every time I see him get in the car, I'm like, bro, you really? Yeah, I guess you only need one side. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's got that right foot. Yeah, he's working. Got the right foot. The right, <laughs> right, like, get was, there. Was, yeah. Spud was telling me about uh, what the fuck are those planes called where they take off too fast and everyone passes ghost planes? Did he, dude? You ever hear he about ghost his, planes? He got a stroke nah. from a, on a plane. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, dude, there's there's a there was recently there was a plane flew over Washington D.C. and like the jets had to go like follow it to see what the fuck they were doing. And on like smaller, I think like private jets a lot of the times on smaller flights, something like if you reach altitude too altitude high too quickly everyone fucking passes out or dies and oh. there's just a ghost plane flying yeah. on like on autopilot just around the city and they that makes to, sense they had to like bring it down the pressure the yeah that's what happened to yeah uh Payne stewart the golfer really the cabin depressurized i'm sure that's, that's what, what it is, is. yes yeah, it's, it's, like, it's you take off too fast maybe it doesn't it pressurize quick enough yeah and like there you get private flights where everyone on board just dies instantly he was on a private flight and they just had to let it fly until yeah they it, let like, it fly until it runs gas. out of gas and they <laughs> try to steer it till it crashes yeah. into like the wilderness Wait, they die instantly or yeah they pass they pilots up? die they, everyone gets oh. like euphoric and giddy for like yeah. 10 seconds and yeah, there's just, just go, no oxygen and you pass out is that what happened with that malaysian flight that's what they think possibly yeah Right in the ocean. Like oh, that it. was one of the, the. Did you watch that documentary? Uh-uh. I didn't. No. They just come up with wild theories. Yeah. But then they show you, uh, like, act out. You know what I mean? Like they yeah, show yeah. you footage of like. Yeah. Here's what happened. These two Russian guys sat in the front. They climbed up, opened the hatch. But then you watch it and you're like, Yeah, that is what happened. They're showing me oh. video. <laughs> I'm like, Yeah, I believe it. I can see it. <laughs> And then they cut to like an expert that's like, no. <laughs> and you're back on your couch like, yeah, <laughs> obviously. That's the only image your brain has. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to believe. It's funny like, how an expert would be yeah. like, no. Yeah, just one expert real quick. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I thought that. I guess because you showed me it. <laughs> you showed me a moving image. You, you showed know. me it. Took that. Yeah, they were reality. like Russians got in there ripped the fucking the cables down in the basement of it that can depressurize the cabin 
And then they took control of it. What'd like, they wait, do? Why would the Russians take it? They landed it in. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's all bullshit. Yeah. They hijacked it and just landed it. And like, this is ours now. There was something where like the pilot was running flight simulations of kind of the exact flight path. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Where they were like, maybe this guy might have done it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't want to put that on. Although you, case. Think, you think a pilot would run a death. You think they'd run the death spiral and see like what's up. If they can do it. Run the. Yeah, like crash. Try landing. to hit a barrel roll or. I don't know. Just being like, what would happen if this thing started to fall? Could no, I let's take it? this thing to space, dude. True. He might have went up. They never thought about that. Did he go up? Everybody's looking down. Everybody's going down. He might have went up. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> looking at their shoes. I'm out here looking at the sky. <laughs> the hell is it? It's going to come back down. <laughs> 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 looking at the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. yeah I think there was a lady that found it. Oh, like right what? away. That was great. They they did this thing where they uh gave satellite imaging to the, there was like a website anybody could just scour the the whole area cuz yeah. like it'd be impossible to look for it. So they just sent out a website so every freak <laughs> on earth could just sit there looking at images of the ocean. And this lady found like wreckage in the South China Sea and they were just like, "No." That's not it. Because I think we might have shot it down. <laughs> Something like that wasn't. That was one of the theories. It's possible. One of the theories was it was taking off, going to China with uh, some technology on board that we were like, nah. Ooh. Are you? Are you a but big, I don't. Are you a big conspiracy theorist guy? Depends what we're talking about. True. Yeah, I'll entertain them. I'll certainly entertain them. I don't I mean, even think. Do you have them. any? I don't have like JFK any. for sure. Yeah. J- okay. Uh, the election obviously <laughs> was rigged. COVID. Uh, COVID. Uh. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> See, I don't beat. No, I'm I, not. I don't. I don't. Yeah, whatever. You know, like COVID, for instance, you don't nothing or yeah. I think they, I don't think it was on purpose, but I think it was they it just covered up. It came out of a lab that in China. Yeah. And yeah. they're just still not even pursuing. How did that? They're not pursuing Epstein at all. Yeah, no one's pursuing that, and the whole country uh-huh. knows. Well, he they already, they already they sealed it. He was busted as a pedophile, and they sealed yeah. it. The whole court record was sealed somehow. We're like, yeah, this is there's a law where like if you're like a super rich pedophile, we can seal the whole thing. Yeah, and like no one can ever look into it. There so, was so there I was mean that. I think that one's not even a conspiracy. Yeah, that's, that clearly one's, yeah, he that was, one's clear. It was yeah. part of an intelligence program. That yeah. one's clear. I just COVID, had, yeah. What do you think about COVID? What was your take no? On I'm not. I really. Just be going with the wind on shit. And I'm like, okay, if it's real, whatever they say, it's real. But I don't. I'm not combative like that. But I have a friend that's like, yo, this shit is fucking bullshit. It's bullshit. I mean, they telling us to do all this. Da da da. I ain't getting the like. I, I didn't want to get the vaccine. I didn't want to get. The I didn't want to get the vaccine. Selling? But we had to. Yeah. So we we're forced. and actually and actually. You fill out the card, brother. <laughs> I got <laughs> the seller. I, that was I got, bullshit. I got dude. it. Huh? That was that was that was bullshit. The force you guys. The force, yeah. I mean, and at this point, I, you know, I know people that uh, that not comics, but like people that faked it and was like, kept working. <laughs> yeah, the bros. I'm, I mean, I you got know what into mean? another country. <laughs> what, you got the card from another but country. I, don't, I got into a different country. I don't oh, feel. Yeah. I don't feel no different. I do think it's like fucking ridiculous that like if somebody dies down, they'd be like, "See, you've been vac- vaccinated. You got the vaccine." I'm you like, talking about uh, JF? JF? Talking about Jamie Foxx? There's a wild thing going around. Uh, I don't Fox. even. That, that's the thing about the internet that pisses me off the most. If I was Jamie Foxx, I would just not even show my face until he did. I needed to. I think to. he's fucked. You do? He, yeah, he's fucked I up. I think that's. I thought I could have sworn I read that he was nah, like, his real. daughter says she, he, that he yeah, was good. I yeah, see that. I do believe Yeah, but her. then he was still in the fucking hospital, though. You was in the hospital with him? No, he had a stroke, didn't he? It wasn't he was in a center and had a stroke and I don't didn't know. the cannon come out and say didn't the I, I could be wrong, but I thought the cannon came out and started saying some wild the cannon, stuff. Yeah. Cannon was the truth. Nick Cannon, dude. He Nick might Cannon. Be. Oh Nick Cannon. Cannon. He's at the forefront. He is. I don't know. I could be wrong, because I looked up, I heard Nick Cannon came out and like spilled the beans, but I, I couldn't find it on Google. So. Yeah, but you're right. I don't know why the daughter would tweet that he's, he's playing pickleball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there was just so much conflicting information on it. She was like, he's all good. He's playing pickleball. Yeah, but why would she? But then it was like he had another stroke. I don't I have no fucking Who knows? Know. It's it's terrible. Jamie Foxx is the fucking man. Yeah. He's but man. yeah, there's a lot of people that went down that I was like, that could be vaccinated. Yeah. That could be a booster fucking related pass out. Maybe it's because I'm 
Nigerian. I got all this strong, you know what I'm saying, immune system and blood and shit. You know, we the superior race, so it's just not, it just don't affect. You know what I'm saying? Could be. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to get me to say something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it. <laughs> Say it more. That's what uh, uh who was saying that shit yesterday. I was keeping it with black people like for two hours. Yeah, we don't get COVID. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was a real report, which was fucking crazy. Yeah. That's when I'm that's when I'm on my conspiracy theory shit. Cause I'm like, why would y'all put this out there? What that black people don't get COVID? Yeah, why they were saying they were getting it. And the then worst they, were, they were putting it out. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. at first it was like they don't get it at oh, all. Oh yeah, I remember that. And then it was like, you niggas is all dying. Yeah. Yeah. I they didn't I also I think like most conspiracies, they didn't know what the fuck was going on and people were just reporting shit. Mm-hmm. And that happens all the time. Yeah. Like they're like yeah. Sandy Hook. They were like, they've apprehended a second shooter. It's like yeah. No, they didn't. You just got false information. Yeah. You said it, and now that's out there. Mm-hmm. One local news station saying the wrong thing. You know, maybe a dude. <laughs> a dude came out for Jamie. It was like some white dude was like, "I know it firsthand. He got it, and now he's fucked up." And they were like, "Fuck you, dude." But it's like, who knows? He could just be trying to. That's what happened with the dude from the Bills. What? He oh, got he, got the, he got hit in the chest. Or they fucking to... died on the field, and people were like, "They Thanks. tried to say it was a vaccine." I mean, it's never happened to ever. Yeah. Well, they were saying there, there's, <laughs> there's a theory. So <laughs> there's Although, a couple. Here's the thing, though. So I think it happened. It originated in the lab. They covered it up to save like the government's yeah self whatever. And then all of a sudden, it was the big pharma companies were like, "Hold, hold on, hold on. We could. This will be nice." And they made billions of bucks and forced yeah, everyone to get sure. this thing. And dude, it's. People have gotten fucked up from it, for sure. I've talked to so many people. I talked to a lady who passed out, got the second shot, passed out. Myocarditis apparently is a big... I've talked to a lot of people who said their cardio is fucked up. Yeah. Get it. People do pass out from needles, though, a lot. True. Also, but back to the big pharma thing. Yeah. It's not a conspiracy to think that our government is controlled almost entirely by corporations. Absolutely. Yeah. That's not a conspiracy. No. That's so true. when it comes to something like this... I don't think it's very conspiratorial to no, think that I way. No, I don't. I wasn't even thinking about the. I was just actually talking about the disease. Oh yeah, about oh, how whether it exists or not. How it's not that serious. <laughs> 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 how all of us in this room have gotten it like five times. Yeah, and but four was, of those times didn't notice. It was, it was and the only time I did is when I stuffed my hand in my ass and smelled it, <laughs> <laughs> and went, "Holy shit, I got COVID." <laughs> 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 the old ass test that, that thing was foolproof smelling salts dude uh, dude i'd wake up hungover i'd be like this is it COVID. <laughs> these hangovers are usually not that bad oh <laughs> nope <laughs> just a hangover that is a- <laughs> toss on an ass smell to that hangover <laughs> Just the doctor just be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you got it. <laughs> Here, try mine. <laughs> no, see, this is what it's supposed to smell like. <laughs> I'm not getting that either, doc. I can't smell your ass either. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Uh, where we, we should switch over to the Patreon, yeah, right? Oh, sure. We don't want to take up time. Matt, you and, you and I have to get to the gymnasium. Get to work out. Uh, Working you're welcome to stay for another hour if you'd like. We got nothing. Um, you did no pressure, no pressure. Nah, I think I'm a buggy. All right, which uh, thanks, Kat. You got anything to promote? You got a podcast or any shit like that? Nah, bro, I don't even do podcasts. This is yeah. like the first one I've done in maybe like five years. Or Hell some yeah, shit like that. Great, I'm happy dude. you came over. Yeah, man. man. Yeah, I was just like, fuck it. Yeah, you know. But I'm gonna go right with uh Reggie. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Thank Hell you, yeah, guys. Dude, thank yeah. you, man. It was awesome, bro. Nice to meet you. It was awesome. Love. I love you, too.